Wait there. Up here. But we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Show me. No, no, no. Not a lot of people. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here. For everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for the money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay, I'm listening. You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? 
Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. But shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Mister? So let's Is it over? Going. Thank you. He awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. Don't think I can pick this. About it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? No and now you want us to just head out on another wild beast? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, everybody, Check just take it easy. We're all of us together. Right? Come on. Better idea of what we should do. Come on. Sanctuary. We'll see about that. <laughs> Hi. Sounds like you better get going to Diamond City.
I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn, I'm sorry. But no, I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here. Sturgis. Uh, hey, do you have a moment? I wanted, wanted to thank to do you some work. for helping us out in Concord. I love work. I could sit and watch it all day. Soon. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I'd be glad to help. Okay, good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. I hope you find your son. 